in these problems, we need to find the domain and the range from a graph of what they're calling a continuous function. What's a continuous function? Well, that just means that um, for the length of the function, however long it's defined here, it's just one smooth line. It doesn't have any breaks or jumps in it. And what that means is you can express the domain and the range as just one interval. Um, and remember, domain is everything that the x value can be in this function, and the range is everything that the y value can be in this function. So if we want to look at the domain first in this one, it starts here, and it goes all the way over to here. But it doesn't include that point because we have the empty circle. So we, it looks like we have um, values from negative 3 and then up to, but not including positive 2. So we start with the lowest number, negative 3. Write that. We put in a comma. We put the highest number in this interval. And then with our, we're doing this in interval notation. So when you include the number, like with this filled circle here, you use the, the square bracket. When you're not including the number in this empty circle, you use the, uh, the rounded bracket, the parentheses. So this is the interval that describes the domain. So that's domain. Let's figure out range next. So range is the y values, which go from up here for all the way down to here, but not including that um, point there on the bottom. And again, we start with the lowest number. So we'll start with negative 3. And then put a comma, and it goes all the way up to 4. The negative 3 is not included because that's uh, an empty circle. So we use the rounded bracket. And the 4 is included because that's a filled circle, so we use the square bracket. So that's the domain and the range in interval notation for this continuous function. Let's try one more just for practice. So let's start with the x's. So we begin here, and this is at an x value of negative 2. And we go all the way over to here, and that's an x value of 5. So domain from negative 2 to 5. And the negative 2 is included because that's a filled circle. So we use the square bracket. The 5 is not included because it's an empty circle, so we use the rounded bracket. All right, range. So that's the y values, the up and the down. So we can start here at negative 5, and we go up to, but not including, the 3. So we just put in a negative 5, a comma, and a 3. The negative 5 is included, so square bracket, and the 3 is not, so rounded bracket. So that's how to express the domain and range of a continuous function with interval notation.